Hi, I'm Ryan Levine with Utah Working Capital, and I'd like to talk about uh, how to build a classified balance sheet. A balance sheet is made up of three main components. Uh, first of all, um, all of the assets, which contains everything that a company owns, including uh, all of the cash in its accounts, um, its computer equipment, its building, uh, and uh, inventory, anything else that the company owns uh, was legitimately in their possession. The second is the liabilities, everything that a company owes, uh, whether it's uh, debt on a loan to a bank or accounts payable based on services that other companies or individuals have uh, provided to you. The third is the owner's equity, uh, which is uh, the true value of the company. This is everything uh, that the investors have contributed in capital with any retained earnings that may have been earned over uh, subsequent years. A classified balance sheet uh, takes each of these main three sets and builds subsets within specific classes. Uh, within the assets, uh, there are five main components, uh, five main classes uh, within the asset section. First is current assets, which will include cash, inventory, accounts receivable. Uh, the second is property, plant, and equipment, which includes um, buildings or other machinery or equipment used to run the business. Um, the third is um, investments, long-term investments, uh, stock or other investments that the company has made, possibly in other companies um, or, or, or other just investments um, owned by the company. The fourth is goodwill assets, which includes any trademarks um, or any goodwill that the company may establish or have value for. And then five is simply other assets, anything that doesn't fit those classifications. In the liability section, there's only two main classes. Short-term debt is anything that's due within one year, and long-term debt is anything that's due greater than one year. Under stockholders' equity, uh, there's only three main classes. The first is contributed capital uh, given from the, the, the shareholders of the company. Uh, second is, is additional paid-in capital, which is um, any value that a stockholder may have paid uh, in addition to the original par amount. And then the third classification is retained earnings, which is any money that has been earned um, over previous years, less any dividends that have been paid. For further additional questions, contact us at utworkingcapital at gmail.com.